My name is Marit Jakobsen and I am the director of Norwegian Handicraft Association, Norges Husflidslag. We are now in the centre of Oslo, in the very centre, in the place we call Spikersupa. I am very happy to welcome you to this Nordic conference, The Future is Handmade. Hello, my name is Katri Wissel. Uh, I come from uh, Estonia and uh, I come from actually from uh, southeastern part of Estonia which is uh, quite a specific ethnic um, area. Uh, today I am uh, making a belt that was worn by Seto men and they still do and they wear their traditional costumes. You can see it here and it is called the bottle belt and uh, because it, uh, you can see it in the bottle as you make it. Yeah, and it is uh, knotty. Uh, I have studied uh, traditional textile uh, in, uh, in a university for four years. So I am very interested in traditional textiles and handicraft in general, especially uh, weaving. So um, I think um, as I am very closely connected with my ancestors and I feel very strongly uh, uh, connected with Setoma that I am from. I find it very um, important to uh, keep on the traditions that my ancestors, ancestors uh, also had and um, this is why I make also handicraft because I like it very much. My name is Maikki Atinen. I'm from Finland. My name is Nora Vuorimies. I'm from Finland. We are doing zippery felting and uh, re book remaking. Shibori felting is like you put a string on a wool and then you wrap it like this and then you put it on a machine where there's steam and the wool is there like an hour and it will be like this. There will be some different structure for the field. <laughs> it's not a common art, it's quite new technique. I think it will be a very interesting thing to do in the future and you can make different kind of things in it. I'm doing this because I love when you can say that I, I made this and I love when, when you do it. I love handwork. It's very relaxing. I think it's interesting and it's quite easy thing to do and uh, I think that craft is a very good thing to do because uh, you can see what it comes from, so you can see what you're done. And that's a good thing. I'm Signa. Okay. Yep, I'm from Haugesund in Norway. I'm spinning to make wool. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, it's nice to make your own wool instead of just buying it in the shop. And this way I can have wool that looks like no other wool. <laughs> I was at a school where I learned it uh, just a bit and then I've practiced on my own for a long time. <laughs> it's very difficult to keep it going. Uh, there's not a lot of people that are interested. But I, I think people are interested, they just don't know how to start. So, so we need to teach people so that we don't forget how to do it. I try to teach uh, the people that I meet. <laughs> My name is uh, Selena Hongslo. I come from uh, Uppsala in Sweden. I'm doing needle binding. It's an old uh, yarn technique. It's uh, older than uh, knitting. So it's from the uh, Viking age. It was kind of uh, difficult to learn uh, 20 years ago, but then uh, they uh, 
some people made uh, this uh, book with a lot of techniques um, and then people started to to do it again but it was very uncommon up until some years ago but it's it's still very uncommon it's not everyone who knows how to do it I think they are uh, they become very nice and uh, uh, the wind isn't going through them if you have it on so it's very warm <laughs> I think the future for uh, needle binding is uh, kind of bright because uh, the people who are uh, becoming uh, textile art teachers in Sweden learns how to do this so they can learn uh, the, the children in school how to do it so if they decide that they like the technique then I think uh, it's gonna live on to the next generation. My name is Lisette Antvist. I'm from Sweden. I am brick weaving uh, a band right now. I'm using bricks with four holes uh, and the, the yarn is uh, twisting around the, itself uh, so you can make um, uh, a lot of patterns with it. Yes, you can do a lot of uh, different th things uh, with this uh, technique uh, and I've seen uh, one woman had made um, uh, a cover sheet uh, in, in thick linen yarn and it was really cool and you can make a lot of uh, different um, patterns and uh, make a, a lot of cool stuff with it. So yes, I think it's a, a big future for book weaving. You have to think uh, when you do it and um, you can make a lot of, of different ways uh, to make it look so uh, it's a little challenging and it's fun. My name is Johanna Högsjöredotter and I'm from Iceland. I live on the countryside and I make uh, things from the Icelandic sheep. I make buttons and brushes and napkin rings and sometimes I think of other stuff I like to do but that's the thing I'm gonna show here. And then I knit the sweaters like the one I, I have on and some baby sweaters and I also make those knives that are not from the Icelandic sheep just some Material of pie to make of. I'm gonna continue with this as hobby because I love to do it. I think the future for this art is good because it's becoming very popular in Iceland having wool sweaters on with buttons, not with, you know, zipper, uh, with buttons. <laughs> My name is Erla Sjökastöttir. I'm from Iceland. I'm from the countryside. I live on a small farm in northwest of Iceland. Uh, I make vattersöm. It's nullbinding in Norwegian. And I make a lot of other stuff from nullbinding. I make socks, hats, gloves, and then I make needles too from bones, lamp bone. I make necklaces from horns, bones and an uh, old piece of wood that you find in the earth. So, and I make a lot of stuff also, it's just my hobby. It's an old technique that was made, it was used around 900 on the Viking time, before the knitting came to the history. It's not knitting, it's far away from knitting. <laughs> Uh, not many people like do it. Very really few young people do it. Mostly like maybe the old people. For the future for this technique, um, I hope it's going to develop. So I hope I'm hoping to be able to teach more people to do it, so it will be more known in the future. Just learn how to do it. <laughs>